so I can punch, block, and hit to the groin. Switch stances, stay there, here, that's the momentum. Now, this kick, like I said, is only a distraction kick. Uh, the momentum so you can move, so you can do whatever momentum you want to do more with whatever you want to do more. Momentum on the form. So keep in mind that when you're striking, instead of doing a roundhouse, you can just pivot short to follow through with the next short momentum on the kick. So from here, the next moment you're gonna turn is the first kick is an outside circle, and the next one is a front kick. And you land, and you do your tiger again, you turn again, outside circle, front kick, and you go. Now, depending on the ability of the practitioner is that how you're gonna do your kick. So if you're actual with your kicks, your kick is gonna be jumping. So it'll be from here, one, and two, and two. Now, if you're a little bit heavy like myself, then you're not gonna jump as much. Your momentum and your kicks are gonna be more solid to the ground. We're imitating the tiger. So instead of jumping, the momentum is one, strong kick, tiger. You turn around to the opposite side. He's coming with a punch, block, front kick, grab, and tiger. Ready? And one, it's boom, boom, boom. That's your momentum, again. So jumping forward, I'm coming with my punches, boom, 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 boom. And he's ready to strike whatever momentum he comes next. The, the knees pointing down, and seconds before the impact, you pivot your hip. So the side kick can be from here to here. That's one. That's when you have your knee up. And when you have your knee down is when you go from here, and then you strip it, and you keep on your momentum. When you do your crane block, the crane block can be interpreted with a palm, right? Or with a hook. Do not get confused with praying mantis, okay? Praying mantis is from here to here. This is crane peak, very important. So with praying peak, you're utilizing your wrist to hook your opponent. Yeah, again, the hook can be interpreted as a block or it can punch. It can be interpreted also as a strike to hook forward, to go forward. And then obviously you go back to your Wing Chun faster than lightning to interpret and to, to, to blend your five animals with your Wing Chun. The pretty soon we're going to be seeing that blending between the five animals, the power of five, and faster than lightning. That's going to be an awesome video that you guys are going to see later on. And then to come out and strike, block inward, to get out and break, inward, to get out of the way and sweep. So the whole momentum of the inward momentum, it, it depends exactly how you interpret it to do your strike, the next momentum. 